This is your technical update from the LMAX Exchange Research and Analytics Desk for Thursday, July 23rd, 2015. Euro dollar. So not much activity in the euro in Wednesday trade, with the market mostly confined to inside day price action following Tuesday's uh, solid correction higher. At this point, the euro remains firmly locked within a downtrend, though there is the possibility for additional corrective upside over the coming sessions. A break back below 108.09 will open the door for fresh downside exposing the 2015 multi-year low from March at 104.62, while any rallies in the interim should be very well capped ahead of 12.16, the high going back to the 10th of July. Really, only back above 12.16 would compromise the immediate bearish outlook. Sterling dollar. So cable looks pretty constructive at this point, with the market now trying to put in a higher low by recent lows that which were seen at 53.50 in favor of the next upside extension back above the recent 2015 high at 159.30. At this point, only a break back below 153.50 would put the pressure back on the downside. Dollar yen. So dollar yen gains have stalled out ahead of 124.50 with the market turning lower in recent trade. Look for a break back below the low from Wednesday at 123.55, 123.57 to open the door for a further acceleration of declines and a deeper correction, potentially back towards that low that we saw going back to the 8th of July, which comes in at 121.30. At this point, only a break and close back above 124.50 would take the pressure off the downside in the short term. Euro Swiss. So Euro Swiss continues to look like it wants to put in a uh, recovery off that 102.35 low that we saw back in April, and the market will look need to break b above 105.75 to confirm this outlook and expose a fresh upside towards the February peak at 108.15. At this point, any setback should continue to be very well supported, with only a break back below 102.35 to negate the recovery outlook for Euro Swiss. Aussie dollar. So Aussie remains locked within a well-defined downtrend, though the market has been consolidating just off recent multi-year lows in recent trade. Those multi-year lows coming in from the other week on the 20th, uh, from early Monday, sorry, on the 20th of July at 73.28. At this point, a break back above recent highs that we saw in the 77.74.50 area could be seen, opening a bit of a correction, though ultimately any rally should be very well capped towards the 76 area. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD remains locked within a very well-defined uptrend, though daily studies are tracking an overbought territory and warn of a near-term correction to the downside. At this point, though, we could see a break of the 3065-2009 peak over the coming sessions, while only a break back below recent lows that we saw at 129.16, 129.17 would open the door for the onset of a correction. But even if we do see corrective declines, the uptrend remains firmly intact, and these setbacks should be very well supported ahead of the 120. 26 area. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi is in the process of correcting following a breakdown just below psychological barriers at multi-year lows, just under 65, with the market trading down to 64.98, and we could see additional corrective upside over the coming sessions. But overall, the downtrend remains firmly intact, and any rally should be very well capped into the 68 area ahead of the next lower, t ahead of a, uh, in favor of a lower top and fresh downside extension. SPX 500. So the S&P 500 has recently stalled out yet again after failing to break above that May record high at 2137, and the market continues to show signs of topping and broader exhaustion ahead of what could be another downside break back towards the March base at 2040. Overall, a break below 2040 is required now to confirm the bearish topping outlook and accelerate declines, while inability keeps the consolidation intact, and a break back above 2137 would open the door for a bullish continuation to fresh record highs. Gold. So gold remains under pressure following that break to fresh multi-year lows below 1100 this week, and we could see deeper setbacks over the coming sessions that take us down to psychological barriers at 1000. At this point, we need to see a break back above 1175 to take the immediate pressure off the downside. 